voices floating in her head, saying no in a million different ways. They don't see what I do. She doesn't appreciate you. She doesn't deserve you. This isn't your life. This is my life. I am sick and tired of everyone telling me what I'm supposed to do. Ooh. I need to find my own story. You're going to be OK? I can handle it. Wonderful. Katie, Andrea, Jeff in Las Vegas. Hey. Good morning. Hello, Hello. Jeff. How are you doing? Look at you two together in the same room. Oh my gosh, the energy must be ridiculous in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we've been best friends since we were 14 years old. So, no, we oh, no them. way. Really? Absolutely. We're holding hands under the table. I believe you. Oh my gosh, how did you guys meet? Go we ahead. met at a music camp in Miami, Florida, when we were 14 years old. We went to different schools and it was like an instant. Zzz. You are very talented. <laughs> Right. You remember, Miami Coral Camp, if you must know. That's right. Okay, so musical the musical camps. Did you remember what songs or what, what you get? Was one of you singing she a certain sang, song? Or? At fourteen, oh. she performed maybe this time from Cabaret. From Cabaret, I was always an old soul. Maybe wow. this time. That's right. And you performed nothing from a chorus, from a chorus line. line. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh! And it was all history from there, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I just thought like fourteen years of. Maybe this time yes, yes. I'll get lucky. That's right. And you were playing a Puerto Rican. That's right, a Puerto Rican woman. <laughs> oh my gosh. You can't do that today. Not anymore. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, right. They are gone. Yeah, yeah. Thank goodness. Yeah. But Priscilla Lopez's inspirational performance made you want to do that. So um yes. yeah. I'm just saying, you know, you guys have been theater geeks for your whole lives then. Entirely, entirely. We would be obsessively listening to scores and checking scripts out of the library. And yeah, basically that's how we're like, oh, my people, mm -hmm. somebody wants to nerd out with me mm -hmm. as much as I do. So oh. I just saw Tommy Kale, who is our director of Up Here, just directed Sweeney Todd. Yeah. And I went to see it on Sunday. And Andrea is the person that introduced me to Sweeney Todd when we were 14. And yes. we would cry and she would tell me the story of Sweeney Todd. So when I saw Tommy on Sunday, I was Sondheim like, nerd. all yeah. I can think about is Andrea and, uh, and me Aww. on the carpet crying about Sweeney Todd. Yes. Now, now get this, you know, I'm, you know, as a young, young generation X. So I loved Angela Lansbury, who did the original, you know, on Broadway. Yes, of course. So what I've been watching on Bed Knobs and Broomsticks and all these oh. other, you know, movies. But then all of a sudden, as, you know, a 10 year old kid, I'm watching Sweeney Todd. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> what? I, is that hey, you're my people, though. Wait, I feel what? so seen. Yeah, <laughs> totally I, I just say I had to I had to appreciate Sweeney Todd much later on in my life, but I remember being just emotionally scarred at that, thinking watching a Disney movie with Angela Lansbury and then trying to figure out what she was doing, you know, serving meat pies to people. Yes, <laughs> very eclectic, right. containing humans. Yes, yes, absolutely. Quite a career. Well, Yes. And congratulations on Up Here, man. I absolutely love this series. I'm a big musical theater fan. I was in drama in high school and drama in college. And uh, I love the maturity. I love the theme of this series. And uh, I think it's just going to hit a chord with a lot of, especially young women who are pursuing their dream, right? Do you guys see yourselves in this character of Lindsay? Oh, my God. I mean, we we were Lindsay, except the good news is we, we came to New York together. So we actually had, uh, you know, our, our inner voice... <laughs> And our outer voice was right here. Yeah, honestly, we supported each other. We took care of each other. We make sure one of us always had money in the bank account. Like we were each other's spouses, basically. We before shared, we had husbands. Should we tell them? Yes. We shared a performing dress. We shared an audition, audition dress. dress. We had one dress we could afford. So if I we had an, an audition at the same day, we used to meet at McDonald's. Yes. And change in the bathroom. Yep. And then meet the other one and change again for right. the Les Mis audition. Right. And, and, and well, imagine them being in the audition room being like, huh. I just see that dress about seven dress people looks ago. Good on a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you love those paying your due stories that actors have? You know, isn't that fantastic? You know, you don't, and no one just says, oh, I auditioned and I got the lead role in Sweeney Todd. No. no it's you pay your due. John Malkovich. John Malkovich actually said to me the other day, we were doing a reading uh, uh, and he said, I've never auditioned. And I said, I want you off the Zoom. Now I can never speak to you again. 
Never auditioned. John Malkovich never auditioned. I know. But we have such sweet memories. Lovely the, man, though. We we have sweet memories about that time, even though it was it was tough in those first years in New York City. Now, I think we're quite nostalgic about that. I loved it. We love, But the thing is, we were not being nostalgic about it because we loved it when we were in it. You know, that's true. Remember, we spent Valentine's Day together because yeah, we didn't have a Valentine. We gave each other presents on Valentine's we Day. We did. <laughs> yep. That's true. Know, your friendship and your careers together, that's rare in, in Hollywood and in the theater, isn't it? Tell us about it. And then Tommy Kale, like it's it's first of all, it's it's winning the lottery to get a job anyway, even if you're enormously talented. But the fact that Tommy Kale knew us both, knew right. we were best friends, put us together on a yeah. TV show. I mean, I consider is, him family too. I was part everything. of his first Broadway show in the Heights. And um, yeah, it's just amazing. I think he was more excited than anything <laughs> to put the two of us together. Ladies, yeah. I could talk to you all day. Your energy is amazing. Your talent's amazing. Your beauty is amazing. I just love you both. And thank you so much for joining me today. And good luck with Up Here. And come visit us in Las Vegas soon. We'd love to have you both. Call us anytime. You. Be well. <laughs>